Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Today, today, we are heading north. Because there's a thing up north, on this side of the mountains, mind you, not on the other side. That is the place that we are going. Stands to reason, really. Also, wasps. Um... I think that's right. It's been a while since I've played this. Yep, that's Aura Sphere. Okay. <coughs> Let's go with Autocross Bow, because I feel like it. Um... Now, this place is the most westernmost city on the map. I don't care what the people in the last town said. This is that one that actually is it. Um, yeah. Rock wasps are not really a big deal. But, I don't know. I don't know! Oh hey, so, I still have a little bit of a cough, so hopefully I don't need to edit that out anymore, but it's mostly, ha I've mostly recovered now. Which is good, because... Well, I need to record. <laughs> Quite frankly. <laughs> Let's go for the drill this time so I can actually kill one. Assuming Celeste kills one anyway. If Celeste does not one. No, she didn't one shot it. Hmm. In that case, maybe the autocrossbow would have been better after all. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. You know what? Do that. And there we go. And die. However, however, while I say that, you know, you, well, we're almost there. The Welcome to Zozo. Zozo isn't like other towns. That should be immediately obvious, just by listening to it and seeing the structure. But, there are random encounters in Zozo. Like this asshole. This asshole who is gonna kick my ass. Um, actually I don't think he will, but he, he certainly can. Also, I'm pretty sure he can use magic. Because you know, that makes sense and stuff. Well, that's sort of magic. That certainly kicked my ass, though. Woo! Using a quarter of my potions after one battle! Ugh. Okay, so, as I was saying, this is so so. It's kind of a shithole. Uh, let's go into the pub. The second hand on my watch is pointing at 30. No, it's not. Here's the thing about Zozo. Every inhabitant of this place, every single one, compulsively lies. None of them tell the truth. Ever. Harvester? Something tells me this is a thief. Well, it's dead now. There's a chocobo sign here. That's odd. Oh hey! More harvesters and a dancer! Now, except for the giant, I don't think anything in here is too dangerous, but I'm quite certain there's at least one thief in this place. Of course, I, I mean, aside from Locke, and actually, I shouldn't even have to say that. Locke isn't a thief, he's a treasure hunter. Really. Um. Oh hey, I should actually use Blitz. Oh. Again? That's a little bit annoying. Silver Spectacles? Well, that's worth a bit of money anyway. Hmm. 
enemy has no items. Mithril knife? Ah! Not lock again! Why do you keep killing lock? What does everyone have against him? I mean, of everyone in my party, he should be at most at home in the city. He is the treasure hunter, after all. I. Okay. Okay. So, why were we in here anyway? Because of a reason. Am I in the right place, actually? Um... I mean, no. I am in the right place, but I'm not sure if I'm in the right building. Because I don't remember. No, this is the pub. I totally went into the wrong building. Hmm... Well, I can get something while I'm here. Anyway. Wow. You are just so dead. I should have stolen from you first. Oh well. Oh well. It's not a big deal. There is one thing in here, but it's kind of a pretty math thing. If I go in this one, I think? Yeah. There's neither. And that's about it. Okay, so I'm gonna run away from Hilga, I guess, because Magnitude 8 basically just sucks really badly. And I don't want to deal with that. I recommend you do the same. Uh, can I? No. Ah, uh, I forgot how many encounters there are in this place. It kind of sucks. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. You are already dead! Pressure point attack, Aura Sphere. No, wait, that doesn't seem quite right. Oh, I got a new Blitz technique! What did I get? What Blitz did I learn? Rising Phoenix! That's a really good one, actually. I will definitely have to show that off on the next battle, assuming it is not a Hilgigas. Which, I believe you only encounter Hilgigas outside. Um, but, anyway, where do I want to go from here? Up. Up is the direction I want. Yeah, running away from you. I don't want none of your shit. Come on, Celez. There we go. You had the damn Hermes sandals, too. What's your excuse? This place is dangerous. Be careful. And don't do anything stupid like trying to jump between the buildings. Well, that's odd. That is actually true. I mean, the first part, at least. Um... I, I think it's... You can't really say a warning is act true or not. Uh, that should be right. Rising Phoenix! Flaming Sabins! Strike! Yep, it actually doesn't deal quite as much damage as Aura Sphere, but it hits everyone. What? You just stole 4,000 gil! No! You don't do that! Give me my money back! Okay, I got my money back. I think. Oh, I... Okay, you see this clock here? It is stopped. 
the thing with this is, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go around the whole town talking to everyone, and they give you clues for this clock. Keep in mind that everyone lies. And if you input the correct time on this clock, you get an item. Now, I'm not going to do that. That is, I'm not going to go around looking for the combination. I know what it is. I have it written down right beside me. Ideally, I could go talk to everyone, but, well, there's two problems with that. First of all, I want the damn item for the climb. And I'll have to go backtrack for it, it uh, quite a bit if I didn't get it now. And second of all, honestly, I think it's just sort of tedious to figure it out on your own in Zozo, because if you haven't noticed yet, the encounter rate in this place is gruelingly high. It's kind of insane. <laughs> So, with that said, I'm about to do the end of the combination. If you don't want to see what it is, then skip ahead like two, a minute and a half. The combination is six, ten, fifty. Ta da! And for our trouble, we get the Chainsaw, which is another of Edgar's tools. A really good one. Like, I think it's probably his... It's definitely his, his best one in the game, or that we have access to right now. I don't think it's the best in the game. Uh, no, it's definitely not the best in the game, but it's one of the best ones, all the same. Um... It will allow us to fight the Hillkicks, actually. Now, I am just making sure that... Okay. Sorry about that little wait, but... I needed to make sure I knew where I was actually going next. Not here, incidentally. Yeah, this is a real good inn. Oi. This place. Okay, so watch what this does to the hill, I guess. Chainsaw! Instant death! It doesn't do that every time. But the way the chainsaw works is it deals, in it deals instant death or massive damage. And when I say massive damage, well, you'll see. Um... It is, at this point of the game, uh, with the possible exception of a good setup on Gao, it is the best weapon we currently have access to, that chainsaw. That is not going to last for a terribly long time, but, well, we'll see. Plus, for an added bonus, he gets the Jason mask. Oh, not every time, though. Oh, okay, that was less damage than I remember it being. So, so much for that being the best weapon in the freaking at, in the game right now. I mean, come on, Aura Sphere is definitely stronger than that. Well, it's still his most powerful we weapon at the time. And it does still sometimes instant kill. Apparently, only get the mask when it instantly kill things. I did not know that. Okay. These guys, they give you a lot of hints. Yeah. These guys give you a lot of hints for the climbing thing. Or climbing thing. I mean, the thing. The, the clock. At least some of them do. But again, I'm not doing that. You do that, you do Chainsaw! Silver Spectre goes again? Hmm. Well, I can't really complain about that. I mean, I attacked it and I got a weapon, so... Oh, hey, I need to heal Celeste. I should probably do that. I should probably do that. Hmm, I wonder, actually. 
Wait, why is he not dead? I thought I hit him with Aura Sphere. Well, he's dead now. Okay, anyway. Let's see... I want to see how much this heals. Not... Not as much as I had hoped. I'll say. Well, up we go. Welcome to the climb. Oh, no, no, no! I don't didn't want to do that yet. Go back over. Okay, in this first building, we want to keep climbing until we get to this door, I think. Yeah, that one. Because there's a box with Brigand's Glove, which I think we already had one. Um, maybe. Okay. Maybe we didn't have it. Well, I don't actually want to use it. Because I prefer having steel as opposed to mug. And here's why. Um, against bosses, I don't want to kill the boss before I've stolen from them. Um, although in this game that's not really much of an issue, but it's something I sort of picked up from Final Fantasy IX and has since carried over to other places. Okay, it just stole a lot of money from me. That's frustrating. Please hit the hill, I guess. Thank you. Not the Okay, did not use that on the hill, Gigas. Also, thank you. Okay, it's worth mentioning, by the way, since I haven't yet. The Phoenix thing. That is- that ability deals fire damage. So... If you use it against them that absorbs or is immune to fire, well, you'll regret having done so. Hmm. Oh, there was something in here. Anything? Oh, hey, that's neither. This looks like a job for... Sabin! Just like everything else! There we go. Ha 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 Actually, that laugh is not really appropriate for Sabin, but I did it anyway because... Well... As you see. Right. Hi, Potion! Now, I just want to talk to this guy. My watch's second hand is pointing at the four. In other words, no it isn't. Do not pick four, is what that's saying. Okay, so, on this note, I am gonna... Ahem. As I was saying... I'm gonna cut off here. So... Until next time, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with Chaos Blue, and have a good day.